up you guys so the other day I posted um, onto my IG stories whether you guys wanted to see what I do to boost my immune system the supplements I take and I got a resounding yes so that is what I'm gonna do here for you today now I have been going through supplements and all sorts of different things over the past three and a half years due to my Hashimoto's and my alopecia immune support is huge when you have an autoimmune condition so that's just kind of been my specialty over the past few years trying to figure out what works for me now I have to say this and stress this is that everybody has a bio individual need so what works for me may or may not work for you you have to figure out what it is that you need your body needs um, and and see if it's something that is going to be a good fit for you so everything I recommend here is what I have found that works for me in hopes maybe it might work for you you just got to try it out so trial and error when it comes to this is huge especially um, unless you get testing done and you can kind of pinpoint things but if you're kind of just taking shots in the dark then trial and error is gonna be your best friend. <laughs> With that said, um, I do have to do a disclaimer because it's the 21st century and we're all so happy. Um, I'm not a doctor, I am not a registered dietitian, I am not a nurse practitioner, and I am not claiming to be. All the advice that you hear me talk about in this video or just really anywhere else um, it's all my personal experience, what I have found works and doesn't work. So now that we cleared that out, let's get down to it. I separated everything into four parts. One's gonna be vitamins and minerals. The next is going to be detox, so what I use to detox my body. Third is gonna be supplements, so like herbs and all that good stuff. And the fourth is gonna be things like bone broth and just supplemental, other supplemental things that aren't necessarily herbs. You know what I mean? Before I get into and show you individually what it is that I take, I'm gonna show you really quickly what I do for breakfast. So that way you kind of have an idea of what you can do that would be like a superfood. A breakfast is packed with so much good nutrients that it just helps to support your immune system so let me show you that really quick so one of my first tips for boosting your immune system is making just a really good superfood um, smoothie or chia seed pudding such as this one um, so this is just pureed mango with strawberries blueberries pineapple and a little bit of banana and then the chia seed pudding is made with coconut milk and a little, just a, a touch of maple syrup and some vanilla extract. Nothing where it's gonna be too crazy or shoot the sugar through the roof um, because we already have enough fruit for that. Uh, but as far as just, you know, natural sugars, when it comes to fruit, I, I like to think that there's more nutritional benefits than what you would get by not eating them so yeah this is really healthy another thing you can do is you can put maca powder in the um, blended part of the mango um, and that will just boost up your antioxidant activity um, it'll give you energy and all that good stuff which i will talk to you about a little bit later when i talk about the supplements but yeah this is just one option that you can do to help boost your immune system and it's so delicious for the morning Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is vitamin C, and this is ester C with flavonoids, um, and this is from Pure Encapsulations. So the reason why I don't take something that's just called strictly vitamin C, and I take something that's like this, because this is much more easily absorbed, and it's a lot easier on the digestive system. Now, the thing with flavonoids, flavonoids, you can find them in fruit and in vegetables. The thing that they had found study-wise is that when you combine the flavonoids with the ester C, that it actually makes it even more readily absorbable, um, and it just, they work so much better together. Flavonoids are big on antioxidants, big on lowering the toxic load on your system, so of course, you know, when it comes to immunity, that is absolutely huge. So ester C with uh, flavonoids is the one I get. And like I said, this is pure encapsulations. I wouldn't take more than 500 milligrams twice a day because studies have found that if you take anything more than 500 milligrams of vitamin C, it doesn't do anything for you. You're not gonna get any added benefits. You're just literally going to pee it out. So I will take 500 milligrams in the morning and then I'll take 500 milligrams either in the afternoon or the evening, just depending on the day. But I do take this daily. So this is something that I highly recommend when it comes to immune support. Now the second thing that 
I want to talk about and the thing that is probably arguably even more important than vitamin C but most people don't really go for it is vitamin D. Now this is the this is one I get from my doctor. It is the Ultra D 5000 by Apex Energetics and a lot of people are <laughs> severely deficient in vitamin D or they have extremely low levels even in areas that are sunny like Southern California where I'm from and you know they say that you get vitamin D from the Sun which is true but how much of that is actually being converted to vitamin D you know when you have people who live in warmer climates who've grown up in warmer climates who have darker skin you don't absorb as much vitamin D as you would if you were lighter skin or if you were say from up north and you came down here. So that's just something to kind of keep in mind. So low levels of vitamin D have been associated with worsening autoimmune conditions and an increase in frequent cold and flu during, you know, cold and flu season. This is the biggest thing when it comes to your immune system and it is kind of like a gymnast on a balance beam without vitamin d your immune system can be severely compromised so it is actually so vital to your immune system that so many things can go wrong if you don't have it now clinical studies have shown that you can actually reduce your odds of getting a cold or flu during that cold and flu season by up to 42 percent if you have sufficient levels of vitamin d so this is pretty big you guys um i personally take anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 I use per my doctor um, and per, per the blood work that I needed because I was extremely low on vitamin D and I've noticed that since taking this I've been taking this for about a little over a year now the frequency of the colds and the flus that I get is severely lessened and I noticed like for those of you who deal with alopecia um, I realized that my hair actually stopped falling out quite as fast it actually started growing back when I started taking this religiously so that's something to think about another thing with vitamin D is if you take vitamin A you want to take these together because they work very well together they're both fat soluble vitamins um, and the vitamin A is actually known as the anti-inflammatory vitamin it lowers inflammation and is actually its main job is to help regulate your immune system so if you do take vitamin A Make sure you take it with your vitamin D. So one of the only macronutrients that I take from a supplement is chelated magnesium. Now I take the chelated form because it's easier on your digestive system. It's easier It's easier to absorb um, and you're not going to get as much of an upset stomach if you're sensitive to this. So I prefer chelated magnesium specifically from Country Life. Um, it's It works really well for me and my husband. Now the thing with magnesium is that it's actually responsible for, for 300 enzyme reactions actions inside your body that help with your muscles, your nerve system, regulating blood pressure, and boosting your immune system. So this is one thing that is major when it comes to uh, your immune system support. Now I highly recommend only taking this at nighttime because it can make you drowsy. For me, I take it about two to three times a week because it helps with uh, sleep. But like I said, all those other things, muscle, nerves, um, immune system, it all helps with that as well. So I normally take this right before I go to bed, like maybe an hour or two before bed. And it really helps me get into a deep sleep. It relaxes my muscles. Same thing with my husband. And to be honest, um, I think this works way better for me as a sleep aid than melatonin. Um, I don't take it every day just because you know you can get magnesium from food it just depends on how nutrient dense that food is uh, so I only take it about two to three times a week and that seems to work really well for me so the last vitamin for this for this section is vitamin B12 max now I get this one from my doctor as well as from apex energetics this one is actually a crucial B vitamin I mean honestly honestly all of these things are crucial but B12 is one thing that actually helps to make nerve cells DNA, blood cells, and is crucial for healthy brain and immune system. Now the thing with B12 is that it is a water soluble vitamin. All the B12 or all the B vitamins are water soluble. However, this one acts a little bit more like a fat soluble. So it actually sticks inside your body a little bit longer. The thing with B12 though, is that if you actually become deficient in this, it can have a, a pretty good impact on your nervous system to a point where you will have irreversible nerve damage so it's really important to make sure that you're getting a lot of b12 or that you're absorbing it uh, properly now you only get b12 from animal products so dairy eggs meat all that type of stuff so if you're a vegetarian you may need a supplement with b12 
Um, now I personally get it in liquid form. It comes in a dropper and I do about 10 drops of these. Uh, I wouldn't say every day. I would say about every other day I try to do this because like I said, it does act a little bit more like a fat soluble vitamin. So I want to make sure I'm not getting too much because too much of a good thing is still a bad thing, you know? So um, I really try to space everything out uh, and make sure that I'm not overdoing it, but you know, I'm still within a good healthy range because I do like, I do try to get a lot of stuff for my diet. Uh, but the things that I know that I'm severely deficient in, I try to still supplement with that. And so those are the four things that I take on a consistent basis that are vitamins and minerals that will help boost the immune system. Now, I don't take a multivitamin. And the reason why I caution against that is because you're kind of just throwing everything at you and you don't need everything. You may not need everything. And on top of that, um, a lot of things can contradict each other. So calcium and iron will compete. And if you have that in a multivitamin, more than likely you're not going to be absorbing that. Uh, so it's just something to think about when it comes to that. Let's get into the detox supplements that I take on a regular basis. So when it comes to the detox supplements, there's only two that I take um, religiously. And the first one is Milk, Milk Thistle Sea from Gaia. I ordered this one off of Amazon and I will leave the link below so you can check it out yourself. It helps the liver to detox because of a compound called Silmarion. Now when your liver uh, metabolizes toxic, sub toxic substances, it releases free radicals. So what this does is it helps to reduce the free radical load that is being put onto your liver and onto the rest of your body. So this is one thing I take. I take about two to three pills a night um, and I will do it for about maybe two to three weeks and then I'll take about a week or two off and then just keep going and going because you know you don't want to overdo it but that's not something that my doctor said or anything. It's just my research and what I found works for me. So that's kind of how I work with milk thistle seed and it works really well you guys. Um, I will take this at night before I go to bed along with my magnesium and it just helps to push all the toxins out and it works really really well. So the next thing I take comes from the doctor. This is a uh, trisomal glutathione but you should be able to find it on Amazon as well. Um, and this is uh, something that is concentrated in the liver and plays a crucial role in phase two detoxification. Now phase two detoxification is actually the process that your body uses to bind to toxic substances that is getting prepared to be removed from the body. Um, and this is, this is huge. So your body does make glutathione, but when you have an autoimmune disease, that can actually become impaired. Um, and so having extra glutathione is just another added benefit for liver support and digestive support. So when it comes to your digestion, when it comes to like your liver and all that, it is your main immune functioning, you know, driver. So when that is all out of whack, when it's being clogged up, stopped up, blocked up, um, you can actually start feeling sick. You can start getting autoimmune diseases. You can start getting colds and flus easier. So your immune system is really compromised when your digestive system is uh, not functioning at its, at its optimal level. And so by taking things like trisomal glutathione or the milk feed, the milk thistle seed, um, it just helps to push things along, get rid of the toxins so that your body can start functioning at a more optimal level. Uh, so in these two things I found help me tremendously. I will not go without this. Um, if I had a choice between this and this, I would choose this hands down every time. But both of these together work so well. So you'll see a lot of things are better as a liquid because not only does it bypass the digestive ga like juices that are in your stomach, um, it's also easily absorbed. It's much more easier to absor absorb these things, but it's more concentrated. So you have to be careful when it comes to liquid versus say things that's like in a pill or powder form. You know, these are way more concentrated and more readily absorbable. So, but I just take that. It's comes in with a little dropper syringe and um, I take about five to 10 milliliters of this. Um, I only take it once a day. I take it in the morning and they say to take it about 15 minutes before you plan on eating anything. So that's it for the detox section. Now let's get into the supportive supplements that I take that are herb based on a pretty consistent basis. This feeling like it's starting now, starting now. I feel adventurous with you.